Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us once again here at Sea Freedom Brew for our weekly briefing. I am Jamie Sumner, Chief Analyst here. And for this week's briefing, we just want to review over a sampling of the economic releases that came out last week. Last week was a fairly busy uh, week in the economic numbers releasing, and we just want to go over just a few of them. So overall, what we want to do is start with the retail sales, and we can see that the retail sales were up 0.6% month over month. It's a fairly strong number. That compared to the consensus of 0.3%. So we had a, a, a big uptick in the retail sales. Also in June, it was revised up for uh, the, the June 2017 retail sales to 0.3. That's coming up from that negative 0.2. So a pretty big revision in the retail sales for June. This should bode well for the next or the second release of the second quarter GDP. And it should see this uh, GDP push that up a little higher for that June number. So that's, a, a, that's pretty important here. We continue to watch retail sales, although it has been growing uh, throughout this time period, that level of growth has been petering off little by little when we look at the month over a month uh, releases. So this 0.6 is uh, a good number and a good indication that maybe we're starting to turn around in here but we need to see that trend continue also looking at business inventories as you can see we're up 0.5 percent uh, compared to the consensus of 0.4 so that's another important number for the gdp in here business inventories uh, businesses are beginning to build their inventories as we work into the fourth quarter uh, spending time so that's an important number to keep in uh, in your mind also as we work through the third quarter we hope to see this continue to improve in here building those inventories to benefit us in that fourth quarter now when we look at the housing market we can see the overall index is up to 68 from where it was in june at 65 so that is a positive however we did see uh, new home starts pull off a little bit in July from where they were in June. Uh, so we see a little bit of that pull off, but this underpinning uh, the overall uh, sentiment inside of the housing market is positive. We hope to see when we look at the uh, second release or the second estimate of GDP that that residential real estate number begins to pick up. It was uh, the, the change was pretty negative in the advance release so we're hoping to see that kind of be muted just a little bit in here the atlanta fed coming out with their business inflation expectations and you can see it's at a 1.9 we continue to see this low level of inflation uh, both in the consumer segment with the cpi as well as in the business segment with the the business prices at just that 1.9 and we'll see how this impacts the Fed's decision in September. Uh, most likely, they're not going to increase their Fed funds rate. And you can watch last week's uh, briefing. We go a lot over the, uh, the rates in here and the probabilities, but also thinking about how they're going to unwind that balance sheet, perhaps starting in September. The question is, with the minutes coming out, they're kind of split on what they should do in here. So the question is, should they begin that unwinding or that normalization of their balance sheet at this time period? So September should be an interesting month with the numbers coming out as well as the Fed meeting. Looking at industrial production up 0.2%, uh, just under the consensus of 0.3. And then we have the manufacturing we can see is down by negative 0.1%. And that consensus, as you can see, was up, supposed to be at 0.2. So we just had a pull off and this kind of led by that uh, auto manufacturing continuing to come down in here with their month over month changes. So something to keep an eye on when we're looking at future growth. Overall, 
all looking at the leading economic indicators index in here. You can see we're at 0.3, meeting expectations at 0.3. Continue to see this uh, index grow, which is positive. However, the, the, the leading factor here is continually the low uh, interest rate environment as well as the strong consumer um, expectations or sentiment in here. So that's something to keep an eye on. Uh, we continue to see this be rather strong. However, we just haven't seen that translated into the overall GDP and the growth. We had a, a, a good a growth number in the second quarter with the, the advance estimate. We're looking forward to the second release and see if we can continue that stream and it increase from where it came out originally. But well, we hope to see you back here next week. Everyone, have a great week.